headaches and the eyes. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam and I want to talk to you today about headaches. You know, this is a very common problem, especially with folks working so much on the computer, looking at their iPhone and their tablet. A lot of the complaints that I'm hearing are neck and back pain, uh, eye pain and eye irritation, and just an overall soreness that can actually turn into a headache. So let's go through some of the causes that are creating headaches, and we'll start with the easy ones first. So dehydration, not drinking enough water while you're on your digital device, can definitely cause headaches. Pharmaceutical drugs. So taking a look at some of the side effects of the pharmaceuticals you're taking can also contribute to headache. And then we can look at things like low-grade chronic inflammation in the body, metabolic or endocrine imbalances, we can look at head trauma, so if you've had any car accidents or you've fallen, this can create a functional problem in the head and the neck, uh, which can create headaches. And of course, stress and anxiety. So in terms of the eyes, it's very interesting because there's a cluster of symptoms that creates a condition called astenopia. And this is a cluster of symptoms that actually show up as things like blurred vision, double vision, uh, eye irritation, red eyes, eye fatigue, tired eyes, eye pain. And I'm seeing this more and more with people on digital devices, and um, it's becoming a bigger and bigger problem. In fact, there was a research study that was published in an optometry journal recently, which said that if you spend more than 60 minutes on your smartphone, you have a higher risk of getting eye strain and eye fatigue. Now, in terms of um, what you can do for this situation, uh, especially if it's a, an eye-related headache, here are some ideas. Well, first of all, I think that you want to look at the ergonomics of how you're sitting if you're working on a computer screen. You know, many years ago, I consulted with a number of high-tech companies and one of the biggest issues was uh, the posture, the chair, uh, how far away a person sits from the computer, what the other light sources are, what the glare is like. So you want to kind of take a look at what your ergonomic situation is. You want to definitely reduce any glare. You don't want to have any bright lights uh, shining on you. You want to have at least 20 to 22 inches from your screen. And of course, the 20-20-20 rule, which is every 20 minutes you look out at 20 feet and you do that for 20 seconds, that's a no-brainer in terms of taking a little better care of your eyes. I also think it's really important to hydrate, so make sure you're drinking enough water. I mean, these are simple, basic things. Now, if you use bifocals for a computer, basically what you're telling your eyes and brain to do is focus through a tiny hole, H-O-L-E. And if you are focusing through that hole to try to focus on a computer or your iPhone for hours and hours on end, that is going to create eye strain and eventually could be headaches. So in terms of any prescription that you wear, you want to ask your doctor for a single vision lens that's the bigger the window that you look through, the more peripheral vision you have, so the more relaxed your eyes are. You don't have to make as many movements uh, along the screen. You get a bigger information processing window. So it's obvious that if you're using a bifocal or an invisible bifocal, uh, those things are training your eyes and brain into tunneling and narrowing, and that's creating a stress response. So use a single vision lens. Another thing to talk to your eye doctor about is that let's say you are prescribed a lens for 20 feet and you wear that lens for driving, that is the wrong prescription to be using the computer on because that prescription was calculated to be used at 20 feet and beyond. So you want to ask your doctor to calculate a prescription based on your working distance at the computer. So it's going to be less than what your distance prescription is if you're nearsighted and it's going to be slightly stronger than your distance prescription if you're farsighted. 
The other mistake that people make all the time is they have a prescription that they use for reading, which is designed for 14 to 16 inches, but then they're trying to use that prescription for the computer. That's gonna make your eyes much more tired, much more quickly, and it's too strong of a lens for you to be using at the computer. So you, again, you wanna get an in-between prescription. Um, reading is too strong, distance is too weak, something in the middle, and you wanna get single vision lenses. Now, in terms of eye drops, of course, I have said this many times before, I recommend using eye drops that actually oxygenate, hydrate, moisturize, and you wanna stay away from the eye drops that dry your eyes out. So the drops that I recommend would be homeopathic eye drops or MSM eye drops. These are eye drops that actually rejuvenate the eye tears, they moisturize the cornea, um, and they lower the inflammation, especially MSM eye drops, they lower the inflammation in the cornea and the eye tears. So that would be the way to go uh, from that perspective. Now, in terms of headaches, you have to be kind of like a detective. And so if you're going to a doctor, I would try to find somebody who's more natural, holistic oriented, and who can go through these different uh, risk factors like endocrine problems or head trauma or inflammation um, you know, or dehydration or pharmaceutical drugs. Because you know, a lot of times with headaches, you have to do a lot of history taking and really kind of examine what are some of the risk factors that are causing the, uh, the head pain or the eye pain to begin with. You know, there was a study that came out uh, recently, it's called the Journal of Foods. And in that study, what they did was they, they took a group of people and they gave them uh, carotenoids for the eyes. And what they found is that those people that were taking carotenoids had better performance, uh, they had uh, less eye strain at the computer, they slept better. And so again, I'm really advocating, make sure you're getting your eye nutrients uh, because that's another reason why it will protect your eye fatigue and eye strain and allow you to work on your digital devices uh, in a more relaxed way. So headaches and eyes, it's definitely a big issue. We're just scratching the surface here. But I wanna thank you folks for tuning in today. And until next time, you take care.